You're listening to Lit Out Loud, the podcast wherein we read aloud great works of poetry, prose, and other literature, and from time to time offer our thoughts. Hello everyone, I'm Benjamin Carl, your host. Today I'm going to be reading a poem by William Cullen Bryant, entitled A Song for New Year's Eve. Stay yet, my friends, a moment stay. Stay till the good old year, so long companion of our way, shakes hands and leaves us here. Oh, stay, oh, stay one little hour and then away. The year whose hopes were high and strong has now no hopes to wake. Yet one more hour of jest and song for his familiar sake. Oh, stay, oh, stay one mirthful hour and then away. The kindly year his liberal hands have lavished all his store. And shall we turn from where he stands because he gives no more? Oh, stay, oh, stay one grateful hour and then away. Days brightly came and calmly went while yet he was our guest. How cheerfully the week was spent. How sweet the seventh day's rest. Oh, stay, oh, stay one golden hour and then away. Dear friends were with us, some who sleep beneath the coffin lid. What pleasant memories we keep of all they said and did. Oh, stay, oh, stay, one tender hour and then away. Even while we sing, he smiles his last and leaves our sphere behind. The good old year is with the past. Oh, be the new as kind. Oh, stay, oh, stay, one parting strain, and then away. Considering the way that 2020 has run its course, some might almost find this poem um, tone deaf, but, uh, you know, I was uh, cruising through the socials recently, and um, a good old friend from high school and somebody that I've worked on film projects and so on with had a had a very good point about um, people posting hoping that we get on with this can't we just get to 2021 wanting to skip the last few days of it and and pointing out that you know there are some folks that won't make it to 2021 that we need to really appreciate the time that we have with them the time that we have with our loved ones and it's so true it's Time is is that precious thing. You you think about it. If you've read anything with Shakespeare, time is always capital T, right? It's this it's this thing that is is almost antagonistic. That we only have so much of it, and that we're always up against it. And at the same time, it's a companion on the journey, um, as Captain Picard says in uh, one of the Star Trek films. You know, it's. It's one of those things that the experiences that we have, the um, journey that we're on includes suffering. And that suffering is a huge part of how we learn who we are, how we uh, come to be who we are. It's sort of the struggle, I always say, how we deal with the struggle is how we define ourselves. And I hope that you folks will enjoy the last remaining days of 2020 and um, all of 2021 and that you will cherish every moment for for what it offers for what you can learn from it about yourselves and uh, about those around you and your loved ones and maybe that's that's our big takeaway from this year uh, is not to take for granted all those things that seem passe that uh you know, oh gosh, here it is, another party or another sporting event or whatever it might be that many of those things didn't happen this year, that we weren't able to have those events um, and that we need to cherish every single one of them because they may never come again. This is our opportunity to uh, be with loved ones and, and enjoy life and really find out who we are and what we're made of and what we want to do with our time 
Thank you uh, for listening to this rambling. I ordinarily have this scripted, and I uh, decided, you know what? Today, I'm I'm going to just jump in. We're going to read the poem and and offer our thoughts without overthinking it. Happy New Year, everyone, and uh, we'll catch you on the other side. Until then. <laughs>